Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Diva with the Mona skin, and we are going to make a nice retro y, synth y, synth wave y ARP with the Jupiter. So let's right click in a preset, and it's going to be Jupiter all around. So make sure to click the corresponding buttons here. And since this one looks a little bit different, all we need to do is change it from rough to clean. And then now we are going to have the same thing here. So basically, this is going to be working on two oscillators. First thing, we want to click the transpose and go to zero. So right now we have something like this. Okay, so for the first oscillator, let's click the triangle as well. And then for the second oscillator, let's deselect the saw and go to the sine wave. And these are kind of basically both mixed here equally. There's a sine wave, let's bring our cutoff all the way up. And then there's our mix there. So let's bring this down just a little bit here. And that might be kind of cool. And then let's drop the first oscillator down one octave. Or something like that and let's do a little high passing here maybe something kind of like that now let's work on our envelope here so let's bring this down just maybe something like this here give a good amount of envelope modulation and for the envelopes two bakes basically bring down the sustain all the way and then now let's create the resonance so we can really hear this moving So that might be a little bit too slow, so let's kind of back this down here. And we can go ahead and enable our ARP for now, so we can kind of hold a chord down or something like that. Okay, so this here, maybe we can reduce the high pass a little bit here. So the, yeah. And we can bring our volume back up. And maybe go up and down, because that's kind of a classic motion right there. And then for our main amp envelope, let's bring down our sustain and kind of just play with the decay so we can kind of see where it feels right. Maybe a little bit faster on the envelope too for the decay. Because this part really here is kind of the most important, kind of just sculpting at first and then the effects kind of just make it a little bit cooler. maybe bring up the time base here to 1 over 16 because right now we're in tempo of 110 so really depends on the speed but generally these were kind of a little bit slower that's about the kind of speed they were i mean slower tempo that we did increase the the arp that could have been kind of confusing but anyway here we go And then you gotta do a lot of these cutoff sweeps to kind of see how much of the modulation of our envelope in conjunction with the resonance and kind of when we're doing our manual filter sweeps, it's gonna be, you're gonna kind of know where the sweet spot is. Okay, that might be kind of cool for now. So now we can go ahead and add some chorus because that's kind of really the meat and potatoes of this type of sound here. So let's turn this on and we have our chorus. We kind of bring down the mix a little bit here. And then with some drums. Okay, so now it's time for a little bit of EQ to kind of really poke out what we want to poke out here. So in our inserts here, let's go ahead and turn on our EQ. And let's give it a little bit of high pass as well. I know we were doing this one here, but kind of just want to clean things up just a little bit more. And take that kind of stuff out. Thank you. 
And we can always compress this as well. Bring up our compressor here and turn it on. And now we can add some delays here. So turn this bad boy on, go to our delays. And for the left, let's bring this over back to four. And then for the center, let's bring this to two, something like that. And bring up our center. And a good amount of wow. There's a very fine line between some of that synth wavy kind of things and also a little bit of acid, depending on where you put the uh, the resonance there. Because take a listen to this here. It kind of almost turns acidy, but then if we back that off a little bit here, increase our envelope again, it kind of goes back to that uh, synthy kind of sound. I mean, they're both synthy, but you know what I'm saying. And here's really cool too, because now we can change our oscillator shape and kind of see how the different shapes affect our ARP here. They're all pretty cool. It really depends on the vibe that you kind of want to go for. And one of the last things here to add is going to be some reverb. That's pretty cool too, adding another sound wave in there as well. So feel free to experiment kind of this basic kind of recipe here. And then just a little small tweaks in there and you'll eventually find like, okay, this is the sound I'm going for. But yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun, and I'm sure you probably know about this one.
But yeah, classic sound. Definitely play around with the decays and the envelopes. That it's going to kind of be really where your initial sound or the kind of sound that you're going for is going to rest in. So yeah, I'll put this patch up for download for free in the video description below. If you would like to have it, it can be yours. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.